Thanks for watching Brevard Tiny House Company's tour of the Robin's Nest Tiny House. The Robin's Nest was 100% custom designed to meet the customer's needs. We hope this tour will help you understand what it's like to live tiny. Each Brevard Tiny House Company tiny home is built on a custom design trailer built to safely support a tiny home. Multiple layers including aluminum flashing, pressure treated plywood, and insulation are securely bolted to ensure that your tiny house is comfortable, safe, and road ready. As you walk into the Robin's Nest Tiny House, immediately to your right is the bathroom. It has a regular shower, small sink, and a composting toilet. To the left of the front door is a closet space. This placement is a unique feature of Brevard Tiny House Company. Through the placement of privacy curtains, this space can function as a changing area. Overhead is the second loft, which can function either as a second bedroom or be used for storage purposes. As you move into the house, on your right you'll notice a built-in couch. The seats lift up for additional storage. On the left side of the house, the small shelf close to the floor is actually the fully insulated boxed-in wheel well. You can use this space for books, plants, picture frames, or any other storage you might need. The stairs are an especially cool feature. Don't let the boxed-in appearance fool you. Underneath is the water heater, which can be accessed through a removable door, a built-in cubby, a space for kitty litter, and on the kitchen side, underneath, is the washer-dryer combination and a place for food storage. The master sleeping loft was built to have extra overhead space. The stairs were also cut into the loft to make it extra safe for climbing down. A neat and artistic feature of the master sleeping loft is the crazy wall. Several native woods of various size, shape, and texture were incorporated to make an accent wall. Our tiny houses are built with many large open windows to create a bright, natural, and open feel. Also notice the heater on your right. From experience, we know that this is more than enough to heat the tiny house in sub-zero temperatures. In the kitchen, you'll find a two-burner stove, a nine-inch deep sink, a counter space, and an apartment-sized fridge. Over top of the sink and the stove, also notice that there is a shelf to hold a microwave. We also built slide-out shelves below the stove to hold a toaster oven and for additional storage. Across from the fridge is a mini pantry and the washer-dryer combination. The walls are whitewashed to create a bright and open feel. The dark beams are milled on our Depression-era sawmill. The Robin's Nest is outfitted to hook up to a 50 amp power source. It also has propane capabilities. On the outside, you'll notice a deck was built over the tongue of the trailer. A trap door on the deck allows for additional storage. And as a final touch, a tree was used as one of the posts. Thanks for watching the tour of the Robin's Nest. Check out our website at brevardtinyhouse.com for more information.